Here we are again for another Great and Scale Reacts. And today we are doing The Northern Boys Party Time, suggested by y'all. Appreciate y'all for rocking with us and getting us to a thousand. And uh, we about to do The Northern Boys today Party Time. I know, is this, is this the one that um, um, PK, yeah, PK, PK, PKJ and uh, Norman? Oh, it's like they group. I think that's what the comments told us. The Norman group. Payne, yeah, Norman Payne and PKJ. It's like they group, and oh. they like together. I think it's like Norman Payne and PKJ. This they group. They oh. call it Northern Blues. Hey. I could be wrong. Y'all let me know in the comment section, but I'm pretty sure oh, that's what the comments said. I think you're excited. I ain't going to lie. I like boy, both PKJ of these guys. Get busy. When they said Northern Boys and they was putting that in there, I thought that was on some like snooker team group. Like I got to go through 80 rappers to find the six that I like type mm -hmm. shit. I didn't Norman. know that this was just PKJ and Norman. Yeah. And I like both of them already. Oh, man. It's like yeah. when Slaughterhouse got together. And like, and, shout, and like he said, shout out to everybody. We hit our 1,000 subscribers. Um, we had 100,000 views. Shout out to everybody who's been coming through, liking, sharing. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate y'all so much. Hope y'all enjoying some of the other content on the channel. Great and scale, um, the podcast. So appreciate everybody who's been coming through, tapping in. And we finna go ahead and get into the Northern Boys party time. <laughs> Don't wanna fall in love, I just wanna get fucked. That shoveling mountain. Oh, hold on. I ain't gonna pause a lot. Hey, but I feel that first line. First line hit hard. <laughs> first line day. hit hard. It first hit line, different. It hit different when your boy Norman Payne come on talking about he like getting fucked. It, hit I, it do hit different. It definitely hit Usually, different. Usually, you know, he got the wife beater on that get ripped off. But he came out, hey, like, I like to get fucked too. I like hey, to nah. get pussy too. No, I ain't mad at you, bro. Hey, Norman Payne, that's merch. Merch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wanna fall in love, I just wanna get fucked. That shoveling mountains is that I won't stop. Halloween, ketamine, jelly bean puff. Shove it in my brain, get it all mixed up. Like, wow! I'm a troubled soul, I'm living in a studio flat that's covered in mold. Go outside just to shout his face. Yeah, hold on, bro. Clean your studio up, fam. You gonna just live. <laughs> it's covered in mold. You just gonna live in there and just be comfortable in an old moly ass studio, bro? Hey, it's Norman Payne, you know? Hey, I just thought about this, right? And y'all correct me if I'm wrong on this. Norman Payne, if that's not his, like, name or a play on his name, if he don't have Norman or nothing or his name not P-A-Y-N-E, that's a super dope name because it insinuates that he's normal being in pain. That's fire, bro. I just put that together and thought of that. And I think you might be on to something. That is super dope. That's and nice. given, given That's his a raps. That's top-tier rap name. Given his given raps, his and, the, raps. And, the, and the way he put it together, too, because he rap about a lot of pain, mm -hmm. but he do it in, like, a, it's normal to him type of a way. It all kind of makes sense. Norm in pain. Norm it's in like pain. a sentence Norm instead of Norm in a, pain. Yeah. It's Bro, you might have just been up. Yeah. I think I think if we interview him one day, we're going to make that a yeah. thing, and I guarantee he's going to put somebody he, put that together. I that think he'll agree with that. I think he I would think agree would. with that. Wow! I'm a troubled soul. I'm living in a studio flat that's covered in mold. Go outside just to shout to strangers and a crawl in a hole like an ugly mold. Hey, I used to know a guy who did that. I used to know a guy who came outside and shouted on the corner. I thought about this the other day, just randomly, just dealing with some mental health type stuff in the hood, south side of Chicago growing up. I used to walk to the corner store as a kid, and I used to hang out on the corner, and it was a dude, last house on the block, and before you made the left to get to the corner store. And he would come outside sometime. We used to play with his uh, the kids that lived there and everything. They, we knew them, but him, there was his uncle. Sometimes it'd be cool. Sometimes this dude would just be outside screaming at God or whatever, just blah, blah, blah. And we would laugh at him. We would walk past him. He would never touch none of us, never harm nobody. He wasn't dangerous. But he would go out there and he would be screaming at, like, God and being mad at God and just da-da-da going through whatever. And we would just, like, it was nothing. Wild. And he would really do that. And I thought about that the other day. Like, as kids, that was so normal and funny to us. That could have been a crazy dude. He could have harmed us. We used to just, yeah. little, as close as I am to you, Quiz, we used to walk past him screaming fits and just go to the store and laugh as we walked by. But see, it was that shows crazy. you how traumatized black kids is in America, bro, for us to think that's, like, funny. funny. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just traumatizing. 
reality to grow up. But yeah, the screaming, the shouting and screaming at strangers, that's what brought that to me. Also, he's talking the way the way that this beat is so positive and happy and vibrant. That's what I was thinking. And he's just talking, he's talking about talking all some this dark, dark shit. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. He talking some real dark stuff on a happy go lucky beat. I do fuck with the beat though. Yeah, I do a sub. Shots of strangers and a crawl in a hole like an ugly mole. I love drugs and sketchy pills, and my favorite ones are the ones that kill. He, he love what? Dope. <laughs> it Sorry. threw me off at first. I seen them three. I seen them three stars, and I'm like, yo, PK. I don't know what you on on this one, bro, but that is not a... Okay, my fault, hey, y'all. when I first seen that, I thought the same thing you <laughs> thought, but then when I seen that they kind of blurred out pills, too, I was like, he must have said dope. Okay. He had to say dope. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go. The shots of strangers and a crawl in the hole like an ugly mole. I love drugs and sketchy pills, and my favorite ones are the ones that kill. Quickly, when I go when my loved ones miss me, well, the answer's no. Chuck my cops in a big man load. Turn my head to a powdered skull. Let rain pour turn that to mulch, and that's the last scene of the Patrick show. Oh, the oh, gone <laughs> hey, hey, on, on some real shit, like on some real shit, he just talked some real talk on that hook, bro. Oh, he did. As a, as a, I'm, I'm gonna be a little open with the viewers, right? I did with depression. Mm. That is a that mm-hmm. is that is really expressing mm-hmm. some depressing thoughts that a person who did with depression time and time have. Like I like that fucking hook. That's fire. Yeah, he is a talented dude. PKJ real talented, bro. I'm not PKJ been that dude for a while. I, I, he stood out on the first little group thing I seen on the Pete and Bass. I was like, yeah. I like this guy. Hit that little, the little baby. You yeah. came Main load, turn my head to a pounded skull. Let rain pour turn that to mulch, and that's the last scene of the Patrick show. I see glue gone paste, and my face is plastic. Gavin a gang back to Jackson 5. <laughs> I'm a ratchet I wonder what songs in Jackson 5 do you fuck to, though? ABCs. <laughs> it's easy as one. <laughs> That's a wild soundtrack. That's wild fuck music. The Jackson hey. Five. I don't think Jackson. They was kids. They didn't make no think sexy about it. That's, music. That's a pretty good beat to get into your stroke, though. Now you know what rhythm. If if you white and you need rhythm, I guess so. Got choke. <laughs> talk that talk, Mike. I'm a- <laughs> choke him to a rhythm. It's crazy. Hey, you got choke him to a rhythm. Having a gang bang to Jackson 5 right. I'm a ratchet guy Lost my wife for a black goodbye No, don't talk to me Unless it's an emergency I gotta go, I gotta take a number three That's a piss and a shit and a wank in a tree I said hello there <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he kinda getting off on this I'm not gonna even it's, I kinda like Norman Payne on this song so the far con- I like the verses but Especially cause I like them I'm not gonna lie them, me liking them is making me like these verses way more than I, I probably should. I bought into them should. as artists. I bought into them as artists at this but point. But also, I think that I would like, while I do appreciate the contrast of the happiness beat, the dark lyrics, I feel like these lyrics would hit harder on a proper beat. And then if they was to rap, I don't know happier stuff on this happy beat but I do get what they doing I get the contrast I understand everything I'm just saying while I like it I feel like I would like it more if the beat was lending to what they're saying that could be the rapper in me that's though. the rapper in you that's I the think rapper to, your, to your point the rapper in me probably would also like the vibe more if it was that I think the person that deals with depression in me understands kind of what they're going for. Mm. When you depress sometimes, you can hide it where everything seems happy. Everything seems like it's okay. Mm. It seems fine. But what you really feeling is dark. So it's like they got this happy go lucky beat, but the things that they're saying is actually very dark. And it's kind of like it kind of lends to like party time. People depressed sense, can party, but be depressed as fuck the whole time they party. You're right. I'm definitely just thinking about it as a rapper wise. I'm definitely thinking about it musically and how I would like to listen to or deliver it as an artist. And that's what I get caught up at. But mm-hmm. from that aspect, what you just said makes way more sense. And now I kind of see it even more, especially if that's the angle they was going for. All of y'all happy, and now I got to put on this happy front too. But this mm-hmm. is how I feel inside. That's that's what I, that's what I think they going going with it. <laughs> 
See how dark the stuff he's saying? <laughs> yeah. He's getting high, he's stressed out, his wife don't care about him, don't want him, he doing all these things to escape. But the beat just seemed happy go lucky, like, hey, we partying, we kicking it. But it's because he's depressed, he's stressed out. Yeah, I ain't going to lie, because this beat do can't make, it, it's, it, it it makes makes you feel like you cool. Exactly. And it gives me such good I, vibes. I, I'm really, I'm, I'm liking the contrast because as an artist, that's some real artsy shit to do. It is. That's it's real very artsy. artsy. That's it's real very artist-like. You know what? Know. They I ain't gonna lie. Don't even give me the line, Tyler, because all of that know. shit sound the same to me. Okay. <laughs> this shit sound like the uh, the thrill of it that I rapped to a while ago. The, it's the thrill of the thrill of the night. That's a little party song that I did a rap to a long time ago. It's it's all in the same vein. It's the same. If you played them all back to back, it's a certain club that would be vibe. It's a certain it's pumping yeah. all fucking do, do, night. Do, 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 beat that do, beat do, up. <laughs> yeah, I've heard a bunch. It's like it's just, it's just a vibe. That they... Big bowl of the cocaine. That's me breakfast. I try crack once. I just wanted to test it, and I'm hooked now. I could marry me pipe. My wife wouldn't care. She just wants me to die. It's party time. Get your drugs out. If you wanna make love, get your muffs out. It's party. Time. <laughs> It's party time. Get your drugs out. If you want to get fucked, pull your muffs out. <laughs> Man, right to the point. I don't care how depressed I am. I'm still trying to get that box. <laughs> My wife don't love me no way. It's not cheating tonight, baby. <laughs> I'll die after the sex. <laughs> no, we going to fuck first. <laughs> oh, man. It's party time, get your drugs out. If you want to make love, get your muffs out. It's party time, get your drugs out. Do you want to make love to a sad old man? It's party time, get your drugs out. If you want to make love, get your muffs out. It's party time, get your drugs out. Do you want to make love to a sad old man? I dip my dick in the salsa dip on a taco Tuesday. Can I spot on your boob Feel free to say no. I said a hip, a hop, a hip. I stick my dick in the salsa dip on a taco Tuesday. <laughs> oh, he wildin'. Oh. <laughs> then he gave her the option. I mean, you know. You can't it, say no. And it's also just a visual. <laughs> He's very much a visual rapper. He don't never say nothing that's specifically, lyrically extra dope a lot. He does, but he doesn't do that a lot. He's not on no Pete and Bass <laughs> lyrical not. shit. But he definitely going to give you a funny visual or he can paint He a plays to the character of Norman He can paint a Norman picture Payne. with his words. And that's also a very good attribute to have as an artist. Like, if you can't do good at everything, Dennis Rodman went the great, greatest basketball player, but he could rebound like a motherfucker. And he won championships and helped other people win like that. So if you could find something you're great at, you probably ain't got to be as great at the other stuff. He don't have to be a super dope lyrical metaphor type rapper if he don't want to be because he could paint a visual and get a laugh and just be just as popular like that because that was a dope little way to intro and it's also unique which is another category. That's why I like that. He's kind of unique. Yeah, it's, it's definitely good to be Stand unique. out. Do something unique. Do Norman Payne sounds like Norman Payne when yeah. you hear him. I can't write a rap like that. I couldn't start a verse and say no. uh, say a hip, a hop, a hip. I stick my dick in the salsa dip because in my head I gotta have not only another word to rhyme with hip. I gotta have a so word to rhyme with salsa all dip. Yeah. All a hip. I need rhyme. I gotta I need find words some to that find go with that. salsa dip. That gotta sound just like salsa dip, but I'm using different words. I'm never gonna say fuck it and say on a taco Tuesday. I'm yeah. never gonna do that. So like, I can like, appreciate I can't even say nothing basic do. like I'm ultra lit salsa dip. Like I couldn't even say that. I feel like I gotta find something else to make it like. So I'm just saying it's a level of a, it's a level that I can appreciate in him doing that. Feel free to say no. Warm bean and full of beans. I got a Yamaha keyboard drum machine. But I like a patch on my dungarees. I said, girl, can I get your number, please? Hang myself in the neighbor's garden. When he comes back, that's a nice surprise. Let the die. Damn, bro. 
This is dark. This is a real dark song, bro. He said when he come home, it's a nice surprise. <laughs> like, God, PKJ? Hey, whatever him and his wife was arguing about, it was, was, it was serious. Serious, bro. When he, was, when he went to the studio to write this, or when he had this beat and was writing it, yeah. he was mad. Yeah, he was definitely in his feels on this one. Can I get your number, please? Hang myself in the neighbor's garden. When he comes back, that's a nice surprise. Let the darkness just take your soul. Listen up, child. Close your eyes. Just pull it out. Don't cut me hair. Take my face. Don't be sick right there. I'm a dirty. Wretched man, call me granddad cause I fucked your nan. Uh, <laughs> what's the worth? Fuck the universe till it hurts. I'm not used to these kinds of mental health issues. I just wanna live in a church and find peace upon me brain. Jesus, please just stop me pain. I know you think that this is a game, but it's not. Now watch me walk away. I'm a love machine, I don't know when to stop. I got him out. Uh, he really rapping, bro. He's yeah, really yeah. rapping. Like he's talking some ri- like I'm telling you, as the nigga who deal with that shit, I know exactly where they going with this song, bro. I would never make a song like this about yeah. like my depression, but like I like what they doing. I artistically. like the way they getting it off though. Yeah. Just stop me pain. I know you think that this is a game, but it's not. Now watch me walk away. I'm a love machine. I don't know when to stop. I got a mouse right here that can make me cock. Pink and leg with a mighty blues in the club. Two stepping with my black school shoes. Munching meat in my boot cut jeans. Chuck it on bread with a bit of knob cheese. Stay still. Would you like your bike? Give the clap to your wife and a wave good night. It's party time. Get your drugs out. If you want to make love, get your muffs out. It's party time. Get your drugs out. Do you want to make love to a sad old man? It's party time. Get your drugs out. If you want to make love, get your muffs out. It's party time. Get your drugs out. Do you want to make love to a sad old man? Yeah. I like that. Uh, I like it. I like now, it. Now, I'm going to say this. As much as I like it, the artist in me likes it because I think I understand artistically where mm-hmm. they're going with it. The rapper in me would have definitely liked the darker beat because of they the shit they talking is so dark. But I understand the vibe, too. Yeah. So I'm, like, conflicted on, like, what would I grade this? Because I understand what they were going for. I'm going to give it, what we, well, I guess what we grading. Are we grading all together with the video? We grading just the bars. I, I, no, I got to grade the song. I don't think we can do, like, the bars. I'm doing the C plus then. If we doing the, oh, well, if we doing the song all together, all to, I'll give, it, the, you know, I'll give it a B minus. That's right. All together thinking. with the B, I'll give it a B minus only because after you explain the whole thing, the depression type thing to me, I do kind of get that. So I like the visual and the concept and the contrast of the happy and the sad. But I do also feel like those, I would feel those bars more if the beat set a tone Facts. that let me know yeah. what I'm about to feel and get into. I agree. While I appreciate the artistry and the contrast of the happiness and the sad, and I can get that, and it worked, and great, I would have felt what they were saying more had the beat lent to the Mm -hmm. topic they was talking about. That don't mean I don't like this. I just feel like... Yeah, I like this. I like this song, but I think I was leaning towards a B minus too because I do understand it, but I think just the the way my mind works as Mm -hmm. a rapper... If you're going to give me that kind of, them kind of lyrics, I feel like I need that beat to put me in that, yeah. that, that zone, like that, that mode. I need your beat the intro with a thunderstorm and some rain coming down so I know you about to get yeah. in that bag. It's kind of like Joe Buttons, All of Me. All of Me puts me right in oh. the mindset, like sonically, it puts me in, the, if I didn't even hear no lyrics from that song, that beat alone puts you right in that area. Mm-hmm. And then with Joe Says... It, like when I'm depressed, I tell you, I tell you all the time. If I'm depressed, mm. you gonna hear me listening to Joe. Buzz. Sometimes the simplest of things people need it, but I ain't called back in, in fear, fear of, of being, being facetious. facetious. Oh, you say facetious? Oh, he said facetious. I always say speechless. I ain't what was I to put at ease? It was probably be, it might have been speechless because the next line is what was I to put at ease with? with? I spent the real <laughs> bad time to, to be strategic. Be strategic. <clears throat> Look, man. And now picking up the pieces while folks just made the appointment to meet. Jesus. Jesus. What? 
In this world full of diseases, I learned not, not to, to bite, bite my, my tongue, tongue to have seizures. The press just tell me oh, I God, suck. Don't get me started. What? Don't get me started. Stop it. Don't get me started. <laughs> Shout out to Joey, man. Appreciate <laughs> y'all for tapping in. Hit the like button. Put somebody on who will put somebody on. It's been your boy from Disrespect the Collective. Been your boy Queez, a.k.a. Dash, my man. Craig Smith, a.k.a. Sense of Life. And shout out to my boy Tyler behind the scenes. Radio 22, everything 22. And we get it, y'all, tomorrow. We out. This one.